We're going to do an experiment today, which is going to demonstrate to you the awesome thermally conductive qualities, if that's even a word, that silver has. And secondly, put one on the silver. Thermal conductivity. Now, doesn't that sound fancy? That's like something you can say at a cocktail party or tailgating with your friends before the football game, and you will impress them. Start talking about thermal conductivity and basically what it is. Now, I'm no rocket scientist, but based upon what I've learned about thermal conductivity, go ahead, practice saying it once or twice. Thermal conductivity is the rate at which one element transfers energy, heat energy, from one thing to another. Now, we know our friend silver is the most reflective metal on the face of the earth. Earth. We also know that it's the most conductive of electricity. That means more electricity can flow through silver than any other metal. But what do we know about thermal conductivity? We're going to do an experiment today. Let's get started in the laboratory right now. Okay, guys, we're out at the laboratory. The idea behind thermal conductivity is that a ice cube placed on top of a silver bar will melt at a much faster pace than a uh, ice cube that's just placed on the plastic tray. So we're gonna set them side by side. As you can tell, Pippi the silver cat is just fascinated by this experiment. But let's put the ice cubes on here and see how this works. First, oh, well, we'll just leave that one on the tray. And secondly, put one on the silver. See if it'll stay on the silver. Oh boy. It is melting. See if I can zoom in. Even Pippi's Pippi, check this out. She's fascinated. Uh, yes, this is very true. Boy, the silver is so reflective. It's having a hard time with the camera. But as you can see, the ice cube that I put on the silver bar, what it's doing, the silver is transferring the heat that is uh, existent here on the laboratory, outdoor laboratory. It's about 85 degrees here in St. Louis and melting the ice at a substantially faster pace than the ice cube that is just on the plastic tray. Okay guys, so it's been just about two minutes and the ice cube just sitting on the tray has barely melted, whereas the ice cube on the silver bar is pretty much, gosh, maybe 10, 15% of the, the one that's just sitting on the tray. And Pippi is still fascinated by this whole thing. Come on, Pippi, you're the silver cat. You're supposed to be excited about this. This one's barely melted. So that is thermal conductivity, the transfer of temperature from one element to another. You really need to Google it, not just trust my definition, but that essentially is what it is. The silver bar is transferring the heat from the outside, and it's like I said, about 85 degrees here today, and transferring that to the ice cube, which is making the ice cube melt at a very fast pace. What do you think, Pip? She thinks she wants to go back to sleep. It's been about four minutes now. I think I'm gonna wrap this up because as you can see, the ice cube has pretty well melted. 
and um, definitely a successful experiment. I hope you've enjoyed uh, joining me on this in the video. All right, guys, I got you back in the basement. Don't worry, I'll always bring you back to the basement, but that was a really interesting experiment on thermal conductivity. We like to be able to say fancy words, don't we? Uh, one very interesting thing I wanna bring up, it's been about 10 minutes since I concluded the experiment, and this thing is still feeling very cool to the touch, very cold. It's, I don't know, retained the coolness from the ice cube? I don't know. Look, I don't know the, the, the science behind thermal conductivity, but it's very interesting how silver, pure silver, will melt ice much quicker than just any other native environment. Hey, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed my video. Uh, if you could give it a thumbs up, I'd really appreciate it. Of course, you can subscribe. Turn on the bell, hit the bell icon for notifications. That way you get alerted every time I make a new video. Number one, I appreciate you being with me here in the basement. You're always welcome. You're part of Ron's basement. I'm glad you're here. And until next time, you be well.